Hey, what's going on RC drivers? Welcome back to the channel. Take a look at what we have on the workbench today. It is a new builder's kit from Element RC. It is the gatekeeper and it's based on their Enduro platform. This is a very cool like KOH style buggy and uh, it's got some pretty neat new parts on it that we're going to talk about. But first up, let's talk about the Enduro part of it. The, the part we already know about, I'm just going to run through this really quickly. So it's basically got the same ladder frame, the steel rails on the sides, uh, cross braces in the center. However, there is a lot of the hard plastics throughout this kit, uh, which is a lot better, you know, a lot more rigid for the platform. We also have the Enduro drive line on this. So we've got their uh, front axle, rear axle assembly. It's got the hard plastics for the axle, ring and pinion with helical cut gears in there, bolt bearings, of course, throughout, universals in the front. And in the center, we've got the Stealth X transmission still, which is the tunable transmission. You could change the overdrive, underdrive, to go 50-50 with it. Uh, metal motor plate in there. It's got the a lockout nose slipper. 48 pitch gears for the spur. So you're going to need to supply a pinion there as well uh, because this is a kit. A lot of kits don't come with pin gears. You've got to supply the electronics. We'll get into that in a little bit. Same drive shafts in the center. A little bit longer of a metal slider in the rear of it. Uh, but basically, again, same drive line. A lot of the same parts uh, kind of in the center section of this. Uh, chassis mounted steering servo and uh, front shorty battery mount uh, with the velcro shafts everything like that then we start to get into some of the changes now let's get into all of that and uh, you know let me start off with the body on the outside so we've got a rock racer style of cage on the outside it kind of fits really nice and snug over the chassis and it's actually hinged. There's two body clips in the rear, so there is a new uh, cross brace in the rear that uh, accommodates the body mounts, and you just remove two body clips, and you can go and just hinge this right up and forward to access your stuff on the inside. The hinge is actually slid into the front cross brace that, that we've seen on other Element RC vehicles. Same bumper mount, but now they've just got a hinge set up in the front. But very cool looking cage. Uh, we've got a fuel cell in the back. We've got some radiator fans, a lot of cage work up front, cage work over the, uh, over the interior. And it does have an interior in there. So it's a Lexan molded interior. We've got molded plastic heads that screw onto it. Lots of decals to really set off the look of it. And then of course the body panels, everything is clear. You have to provide the paint. A lot of my painting supplies are still boxed up for my move. And I was able to find some uh, one inch masking tape and that's how I, I painted this thing. Just put some simple stripes on the side, uh, you know, went with the Element RC colors of white, green and black. And uh, I think it came out pretty cool. We used some decals from my, my uh, trail runner kit. And uh, you know, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. It's gotta be a lot of fun when I'm out there driving it. But again, uh, cage just pops up. It'll obviously protect everything on the inside. Really narrow setup now the way everything is. They've got some new side plates on there, but uh, let me work my way back. So among the changes are some new shock towers on this. The shock towers have inserts uh, kind of from the towing hubs. There's the little metal plates on their 110 scale vehicles and they slip right into the shock towers, which offers a number of different positions. So you could tune the shock position on here. Uh, so there's new towers in the front. New tower in the rear, which is pretty cool because it's got a cross brace to it that you could actually go and mount uh, one of the battery trays to if you want to go ahead and do that. It's got the four holes there, uh, but it has the aluminum inserts in the back as well. So you can move the shock position around. Really, really like that. All right, back up to the front again. There is a plate now that uh, you could go and put your speed controller right next to the servo up front. Obviously, you want to get that weight farther forward, get some weight over the wheels. So this allows you to do that. Plus. The, again, uh, I'll, I'll talk about it in a minute. These side plates are now very narrow. Uh, so, you, you know, mounting a speed controller here might be a little bit difficult depending on the speed controller you have. Uh, but moving a little farther back, there's that battery tray. We've got the Stealth X transmission. And now I can talk about these side plates. So these uh, narrow uh, floor pans, uh, side plates, whatever you want to call them, now kind of act as the plate for the receiver. They've got a little antenna mount uh, on each side, depending on where you want to mount your receiver. Uh, and of course, it does protect the bottom of the, the truck from maybe stuff getting up and in there. But it also serves as the mount for the rear trailing arms on this. So we've got trailing arms instead of a uh, link. So the front actually is the three link that we've seen before, three link with a pan hard bar. And the pan hard bar mounts to an aluminum bracket instead of a composite bracket, which is a lot better. Uh, I will note that they did go ahead, give you the aftermarket bent links that they offer for this. 
Uh, so it gives it a bit more clearance in the front. That's always cool to see on a bug, buggy that's uh, going to be crawling over rocks and, and, you know, hitting some speeds as well. Uh, but back to the trailing arms. So uh, they've got these plates uh, that serve as the outside of the mount. Then a new bracket on the inside that also secures those trailing links. So they are a molded plastic, a composite plastic. It's not a metal link. Like, you know, in the front, it is now just a trailing arm, which really fits the style of the vehicle. And uh, the upper links are metal. So it's basically a four link style setup, trailing arm on the bottom. And then they have an anti-roll bar now on this, which is very cool. It sets up, uh, it mounts in the rear, goes down to the arms or the trailing arms, uh, and then it's got fixed, fixed links to the trailing arms. But really neat setup. They've got a new mount in the rear for that that accommodates that. And I can see a lot of people maybe adapting that to other uh, Element RC vehicles. That's very cool. Again, hard plastics pretty much throughout this. Uh, you know, here and there you'll see some of the black plastics, but it's a lot of the gray plastics. And uh, I, I like the feel of the, the truck. Now, the one thing that I've been holding out on that I'm really excited to see on this kit is it comes with the factory team shocks, the, the hard-coated smooth shocks here. Uh, so really cool front and rear We've got gray springs in the front blue springs in the rear uh, Front feels a bit firm the rear a bit soft actually uh, We'll see how that goes. It's got to be firm because you got more weight up front But uh, I, I like the setup the way everything feels it looks awesome uh, Other things to note on this they are plus six hex hubs on the on the axles on the outside of the axles now to adapt to the wheel uh, they are a metal uh, hex up. They even have the plus six millimeters engraved on it. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, hard plastic skid on the bottom, kind of jumping around here, but I uh, want to make sure I get everything out for you guys so you know. Um, as far as building up the kit, it was okay. Uh, there's some, you know, little glitches here and there in the instructions. If you've built a kit before, um, you know, you uh, pr will probably be able to, to get through it. The, I think that my biggest complaint with the instructions was is the, the bent links. They show straight links in the instruction manual. So uh, if you've never built a kit with bent links before, uh, you know, <laughs> figuring out how they go in might be a little bit of an issue for you. Uh, the bend goes towards the front and uh, that's really about it. Behind the axle steering, so you got a lot of clearance in the front. Does come with the metal servo horn. Oh, I should mention that metal servo horn, yes. Uh, that's awesome to see on this kit as well. And then finally, I'll just wrap it up really quick with uh, some of the stuff that I've used in here. So I've got a high tech 951 TW servo mounted up front. And then for uh, the power on this thing, I went with a Holmes Hobby VRXL with a Crawlmaster 16 turn motor on here, Crawlmaster Pro. Uh, then I went with the basic Spectrum SLT radio, the new uh, DX3 radio system in here just because I have it on hand and I think it works well. A lot of people put down radar on radios, but uh, you know what? That radio works really well, like it. And so I threw it in here on all four corners. I've got Proline tires, the BF Goodrich KM3s uh, mounted on some Proline rims. And it, I, think, I think it came out great, guys. I mean, I, I really like the look of this buggy. I think it's going to be a lot of fun out there. Uh, so why don't we head outside and see what this thing could do.
So I'm always looking for new spots to go and test RC vehicles and I found that in my own town I have a landfill where they have all the rocks and dirt and sand that they use for the town all in one spot and I thought you know what that's probably the perfect spot to go and test the new gatekeeper. It actually proved to be a fun spot for this buggy and uh, you know it gave it a pretty good challenge over there. So first up uh, this is kind of set up for a moderate speed. I mean, I, there's diff different ways you could set it up, really. You can just set it up to crawl, you could set it up to go fast. I mean, it's really all up to you. But, you know, if you want that KOH kind of feel, want a little bit of speed, you want to do some crawling, and this is capable of pretty much all of that. It's capable of doing whatever you want to do, uh, however you build it up. That's what's kind of cool about builder's kits. It leaves it up to your imagination what you're going to do with the, the vehicle. Uh, but over there in the rocks and dirt and debris, it, uh, you know, it had its challenges. This thing, I think, is a little top-heavy with this cage uh, and with the narrow stance of it. I found myself rolling over quite a few times, uh, but it, you know, it did have the ability to climb really well. In fact, uh, there was this asphalt pile there and it climbed up pretty far up that thing. I was very impressed of what it did there, uh, kind of just ripping through the sand and stuff like that. That was very cool, very KOH like, you know, from what you see in the videos of the real stuff happening, just kind of dirt spilling off the tires. That was pretty awesome. Just kind of bombing around. That's a lot of fun too. I, I noticed that there is a lot of steering in this vehicle. You know, we, we know that from the previous Enduros. Uh, this one here, you can crank the wheel so much that the tires will dig into the cage. You know, it might hurt the handling a little bit when you do that. Uh, the suspension on here seems to work pretty well. Again, the articulation is there. Uh, it all depends on, on what you're crawling up, really. Some of those jagged rocks that did get caught up in there, I mean, those things really grab tires, especially RC tires, and suck the, the, the tire down into the crevices of it. Um, but, you know, when I just found some regular rock to crawl over, very cool. Found some washouts throughout the, the grounds there and uh, kind of just ran it through that. That was really cool to see the, the suspension soak up the bumps and the rocks and stuff like that. It's a fun vehicle. Again, the only thing that really uh, kind of tweaked me on it was was the I think the higher CG. Just it seemed to roll over a lot. You know, I think you could push a regular enduro much more than this. Uh, and I may be wrong. It just maybe it was the way I was driving it. I was kind of bombing through some stuff. Um, but I, I did have to flip it over a lot. So that's just one thing to consider. And again, it's just gonna be driver specific on, on how the vehicle handles. I think how you set it up and, and how you drive it, where you drive it. But uh, overall, it's another Enduro. It's another great vehicle from the Element RC crew. You know, I, there's just gonna be a lot of parts out there, a lot of customizations. And, and I think it's just gonna inspire a lot more people to come up with some cool custom builds. All right, so that wraps up our review of the Element Gatekeeper. I have a lot of ideas for things to do with this buggy but uh, that's gonna have to go on to the list of things to do because there's just too many projects in the works right now but uh, it's gonna be fun all right if you haven't done so yet please click that subscribe button and the notifications bell throw the video a like we'll see you back soon for some more RC driver videos